Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Cancer for November of 2020. If this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome, and if you're coming back, welcome back. I am a spiritual empowerment coach and healer, and I help women heal from toxic relationships and by healing their childhood through spiritual practices and energy healing. So um, I do have a brand new course that I am announcing this week. It's called Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you are looking to really connect to that higher self, to your intuition, and manifest the life that you want, I am teaching the secrets behind how I manifested the exact house that I live in and also my puppy and financial freedom. So you can check that out in the description box and comments below. Well, let's go ahead and get into what we got for you this month. If you haven't already, you can go ahead and hit, okay, we're just gonna move on from that. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with a little bell notification to get notified of more videos, new moon, full moon. And I also go live every Tuesday night at eight, uh, PM Eastern Standard Time with all different topics and trainings. Okay, so check that out. All right, so Wow I feel like you are keeping yourself From every single thing that you want This is beautiful energy But the overall energy is the eight of swords and this is about you being blinded and stuck and trapped. So to me, this would feel like a block, um, resistance, fear from every single thing. I can't even believe the energy that is right here. So let's get into it. We've got the moon, we've got the ace of cups, and we have the nine of pentacles. Now the moon card is here, and now we're talking about November. Now the full moon is on uh, October 31st here. So that full moon, you can see the full moon here, might catapult you into a new beginning. You might see things, maybe being stuck is, you know, you're trying to get somewhere without doing the inner work, is what I'm getting. And the moon card is all about shadows and that inner child stuff. Um, you know, healing that childhood, healing the subconscious beliefs that are formed in that childhood that's keeping you away from everything that you want here. This new beginning. The new beginning might also be, you might feel, and again, remember these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But with this card here is you might feel like you're stuck in a relationship because the Nine of Pentacles is my single card. And to have the Ace of Cups right before the Nine of Pentacles, this might mean that you go into the month of November single. Um, or it might mean that you go in more independent and if this resonates with work it could mean that you lose your job and now it's kind of like you're on your own but there's this brand new beginning but you got to let go of the fear and you've got to let go of the subconscious beliefs that have been formed prior to getting to this point because there's something brand new waiting for you here and it has to do with your independence and it, you have to do it on your own now beautiful we've got the queen of wands in the middle of the month we've got the eight of wands and we've got the ten of pentacles it's like get out of your own way that's what i'm feeling it's like you've got to get out of your own way so that you can call in everything that you want because with this queen of wands like this is the type of energy where you go out you get what you want you go after what you want there's really no fear you're motivated motivated dedicated and determined and with the Eight of Wands right next to it, where you're pushing forward, you are moving, like stampede. You are going, 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 and then followed with the Ten of Pentacles, where you create this life where you don't need to worry anymore. There's no reason to keep that fear in your mind because you trust so much in the universe that it has your back. At the end of the month here, we've got the Eight of Cups. We've got the Sun. And we've got the death card. And all I'm going to say to you here is that you're walking towards something completely better than what you had. Where you feel resistance, where you feel blocked, like you are opening that up. And again, full moon. The sun and the death, these go hand in hand because the sun card is the healing card. And when you heal, you transform, which is the death card. 
So this is time at the end of the month, like you're going to do a lot of healing and the transformation here, you can see like, I just feel as though the old you isn't there anymore. It transforms, it dies, the death card, it dies and a brand new you is created. And it's because of the inner child work. It's because of the inner work that you do on yourself in the month of November that is going to keep you, um, it's actually going to release the resistance here. It's going to let that go. They're, ma they're making me feel like you've lived this for so long. And it's like you finally wake up one day and you're like, nope, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change it. For so long, right? Tradition. So this is about reflecting on what you've always been doing. And how is that working for you? Is it working for you? No, I had a, I had a couple of research calls with women um, a couple weeks ago. And I asked every single one of them, you know, how long have you been dealing with this? And 90% of them said my whole life. My whole life. And I'm talking to women in their 40s and 50s and 60s. And it's like, well, how much longer do you want to deal with this? You know, when are you going to make that decision to wake up? When are you going to make the decision to let go of what's keeping you where you're at? We've got the Empress card, fertility and sensuality. This is about taking care of yourself. This is about knowing what you want, who you are, and understanding yourself much better. And then you've got the three of coins here, which is pur purposeful action. So taking the action that's going to get you where you want to be. Asking for help, right? You've got the independence card here. But you can always ask for help for someone to guide you with that. This is your time. And I, I, they're saying to me, like, you can feel them calling, I don't know if you're hearing voices in your head um, or you feel a pull, but you can you can feel them, hear them, feel them, see them, whatever clairs you have. Um, but you, you can feel them. It's like they're coming for you. You've got no choice. You've got no choice but to heal now. Spirit, spirit is so with you right now, and, and I feel as though you know that. If you've got loved ones on the other side, they definitely are supporting you at this time. So let go of the resistance. Let go of the fear. Because there's so much beauty that awaits you. There's another life that awaits you. So dive in. We've got, am I apologizing for my truth? And it says, what part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today's sole action is today be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Courage is contagious is the mantra. So be courageous with all of this. And speak your truth. Tell your story. Tell your story. A lot of the times, especially as women, we're told to shut up. Sit down, shut up. Don't say that. Don't get anybody in trouble. Right? But it's time to speak your truth and tell your story. Because if you are holding on to something that you want to share, that you need to share, but you're scared to share, and that's what this might mean here, that is sitting inside of you causing a lower vibration and feeling kind of stuck here. Because if you're not allowed to speak your truth, that's going to hold you captive. So speak it. Speak it to the people you trust. Speak it to the people, um, you know, like a therapist or somebody that you can get your story out or a coach, whatever you want. But courage is contagious and as you speak your truth, and I always say, especially in my From Pain to Power mentorship, it is about knowing your truth. It's about knowing your truth and knowing the rights that you have. Okay. Am I clear on what my soul really wants? 
and it says, take out the shoulds and the limitations. Get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires instead. If you knew it was impossible to fail, what would you do? Wherever you go, go with all your heart. So take out the shoulds and get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires. Today's soul action, ask yourself, what is it that your soul really wants? What does your heart crave? Then take one step in that direction. So I love that. Am I clear on what my soul really wants? And that might be also why you're stuck because a lot of the times we get stuck when we don't have clarity. So gain the clarity this month because like I said, this beautiful energy awaits you, but you've got to let go. You've got to seize the resistance cut the cords, cut the ribbons, cut the ties, and let go and really trust in yourself. All right. I hope that makes sense with you. Um, if you do want to join my Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance, you can check out the details below. Early bird pricing does end on November 1st, so check that out before then. And I just want to wish you a really awesome, amazing month here and to really kind of let go. And if you need help with that, reach out to me. I can kind of direct you in that, um, see if we're a good fit to work together as well. All right, go ahead, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up on the video, and much love to all of you. I'll see you soon. Bye.